Quiz 1 Linear Equation Review. Okay, we have the following. We have a line here, and we want to find the intercepts from the line. Now, what you have to realize is that if you're working with the y-intercept, the x is going to be 0. So let me write this on top. Let me write, uh, let's see, this is x and this is y. So when working with the y-intercept, we're not talking about the x, we're going to turn the x off and that's going to become a zero. When we're talking about the x-intercept, when we're working with the x-intercept, we're not talking about the y, so we make that zero. So what we want to do now is we want to go to the y-intercept. So this is the y-intercept and it's between 3 and 2. Well, that would be uh, 2.5 because you could take 3 plus 2 is 5. Divide this by 2 is 2.5. So the y-intercept, that is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept we could type in 2.5. Okay, now the x-intercept, this is my x, and this is going to be between 3 and 4, which is 3.5. So here you take uh, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So 3.5 would be my x-intercept. So 3.5. So let's check this. Okay, next one. We want to determine the x and y-intercepts from the equation. So I have the following. I have 4x minus 1 is equal to 3y plus 5. This is my x, and this is my y. Okay, the x-intercept. We only want a number for the x. We didn't mention the y. The y is 0. The y-intercept. We didn't talk about the x, so the x is 0. So let's do the top one. Let's uh, find the x-intercept. So on the x-intercept, the y is 0. So I'd say 4x minus 1 is equal to 3 times 0 plus 5. So 4x minus 1, this is equal to 0 plus 5. So 4x minus 1 is equal to 5. Circle the letter and box your numbers. Go ahead and add 1 to both sides. Cross out. So you get 4x is equal to 6. Circle the letters, box your numbers. So we divide by 4. Cross out. So x is 6 over 4. Divide by 2. So we get x to be 3 over 2. So the first box, we're going to go 3 over 2 is our fraction. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, next one, the y-intercept. Okay, we're going to use the same equation. 4x minus 1 equal to 3y plus 5. Here we're doing the y-intercept. So the y-intercept, the x becomes 0. So this is 0 minus 1. This is 3y plus 5. So minus 1 is equal to 3y plus 5. Box, circle, and box. Subtract by 5. Negative 6 is equal to 3y circle, box, divide by 3, negative 2,
cross that out is y. So the answer to this would be y is equal to a negative 2. Okay, next question. We want to figure out uh, what's missing in the box. So we have to see what we have. The first one is the x, which we have, and we're missing the y. So we're going to say y is equal to 4 times 3 minus 9. So this is 12 minus 9. So y is equal to a positive 3. Because again, I know what the x is. I know the x is 3. So put the uh, 3 in for the x, do the multiplication, and subtract by 9. Okay, next question. We want to figure out what the solution set is. Which points work? So negative 7 x plus 3y is equal to 2. The point, the first point we want to work with is 1, 3. So there's my x and there's my y. So I want to go back in the equation, replace the x with a 1. So I get negative 7 plus 9 is equal to 2. When I take negative 7 plus 9, that is 2. So 2 does equal 2. So uh, 1, 3 does work. Now before we uh, put that down, let's check the other number. So we're going to use uh, negative 2 and uh, negative 4. So we're going to use uh, negative 2 and uh, negative 4 here. So negative 2, negative 4. That's my x, that's my y. So I'm going to say negative 7. So negative 7 negative 2 plus 3 times a negative 4 and we want to see if that equals to 2. So negative 7 times negative 2 is a positive 14. Uh, 3 times that should be a negative 4 here that's going to become a negative 12 and compare that to 2. So 14 minus 12 is 2, so I get 2 over 2, so that does match. So both of the points work, so it's going to actually be C. So C would be my answer. Because I have uh, negative 7 times negative 2. So again, I took the uh, negative 7, which is this. So negative 7 times negative 2 plus 3 times a negative 4. So this is the uh, positive 14, and then 3 times a negative 4 is a negative 12. So 14 minus 12 is 2. OK, we have a table. And uh, we want to find what is the x-intercept. So this is my x. This is my y. Since it's the x-intercept, we want to turn the y off. So the y has got to become 0. So we want to make the y go towards 0. So the negative 34 is closer to 0 than negative uh, 68. So we're going to go... Uh, negative 79, negative 68, negative 57. Over here I'm going to say negative 68. Uh, this is actually a negative 51 and then a negative 34. 
there's my X and there's my Y. So I want the Y's to become uh, zero. So I want the Y's to be uh, zero on this particular problem. So we're going to take uh, negative 68 minus a negative 51. So that's a negative 68 plus 51, and that's a negative 17. But what's happening here is the numbers are, are going back towards zero, so we want to change it into actually a positive 17. So we want to add 17 there. So negative 68 plus 17 is 51, negative 51. Negative 51 plus 17 is a negative 34. Take a negative 34 plus 17 is a negative 17. Add uh, 17 to the negative 17 and we get a zero. So we had to take two steps down. Now as for the x, you got the negative 79. Uh, minus a negative 68 so that's a this is a negative 68 so we want to write this as a negative Sixty-eight. From here, this is a negative seventy-nine plus a sixty-eight, and uh, that's going to be eleven. Actually, a negative eleven. But in this case here, we want to make this a positive eleven. So we're actually adding by 11 each time. So negative 79 plus 11 is a negative 68. Negative 68 plus 11 is a negative 57. Negative 57 plus 11 would be a negative 4, 6. Got to go again. Negative 46 plus 11 would be a negative 3, 5. So it looks like uh, since we went uh, two steps down with the plus 11, my answer would be a negative 35.